Welcome back to Evil Dead, and we are playing on Ken Race 2, the Fist of the North Star. So, so we are in the Long Warriors in the Dream World event. We are going to the Long Warriors Shiro. Falco sits meditating in the game called Gokun Room with Maya kneeling next to him. Mayo, is there something else you wish to discuss? Lord Falco, in the past, there was a time when you left us to go somewhere. If you don't mind, I would like to hear about that time in your life. Falco slowly opened his eyes and looked at Mayo. I cannot tell you the details, however, I received a secret mission and was sent to another country. Falco recalled the time he had crossed the ocean. And then he got beaten up by the Shurras. I thought he actually died on that one. In the main story. To hell. After remembering the deadly battle he had engaged with Hayu and Kayo, Falco slowly. Upon returning home, I paid a visit to Jacko. I told him that the country in question was not fit to be added to the Crystal Emperor's territory. Now I am sure that the one known as Kayo is ruling that land, but the source of his strength lies in hatred and evil. Unfortunately, he will have turned that country into a hell on earth. I see that this band is falling back into chaos as well. However, I will continue to support the Cholesterol Emperor to the very end. Even if I must go through hell in order to do so. Lord Falco. Falco slowly closed his eyes. And said, there's no place like home. Thrown in the deep end. Although unprepared, Ian was finally getting used to the life with Hasuka. He worked himself to the bone. As Asuka grew up, she began to ask Ian about her mother. Papa, where's mother? <laughs> She's gonna wait on a trip when she's coming back. She'll be back soon if you're a good girl. You mean I'm not a good girl? No, you're a good girl. Then why doesn't mom come on? Mm. Ian's biggest worry was whether to tell Asaka the truth about her mother. Ian, they can all harm me, he's headed this way. They can all harm me, they're the ones that have been running rampant around here. Maybe they're hunting down mercenaries. Asuka, go on hide, I've got some business to take care of. There's not much events from the other ones, is there? Just park on this guy. Counter attack. Ian and his men were able to repel the Kenon army. However, they had used up all of their strength and needed time to recuperate. Ian, we're in trouble. Another mercenary unit is targeting us. That's pretty low of them. They were waiting until we were awakened. At this rate, we'll be hunted down for sure. Ian, we've got to get out of here. Wait, I've got to get Asuka. Ian headed to the room where Asuka was supposed to be waiting, only to find it empty. There's no time, forget about the kid. Like hello, well, if you want, you can go with me. Ian began a frantic search for Asuka. Eventually he found her hiding and weeping under some river. Asuka, I thought I told you not to go outside. But I was worried about you. 
Uh, you definitely got your mother's reckless now, so let's go. Ian scoped her up and left quickly. A few minutes later, his hideout was destroyed by other mercenaries. Where did it all begin? So we got Falco one. Falco continued meditating and again called Goku Room. Maya slowly approached him. It appears that the Hokuto army is closing in on them. Falco nodded and stood up whilst Maya begged him not to go. Your div diversion is my symboli symbolized by your offering your life. Now because of your life you are prepared to fight to the left death. Falco looked down at his right leg. Perhaps now that I think about it, that was when it all started. Falco looked up at the sky and recalled his fight against Ralph. So when I say he looked at his right leg, it means the fake one. Uh, sharing his sentence. Falco slowly opened his eyes after recalling the deadly battle he had in engaged in with Raoul. No. Raoul forced no. my hand no. in order, to, order for him to spare the ability I offered him my life. It was after that that Raoul managed to sense Jacko's evil ambitions. If I had killed Jacko back then, this war would never have happened. This is all due to the weakness I showed during my youth. Falco turned his back to Mayu and attempted to leave. Lord Falco, perhaps the cold heartness you display now is simply a result of your regretting that weakness in the Pagal past. You saw your mother's tears and decided to let Jack all live. It is that kindness that draws people to you, including me. Falco said nothing as Mayu continued to speak. Lord Falco, would you be willing to allow me to share in your sadness? I shall get close to Jacko and try to find out where he is keeping the Crystal Emperor. If you can gain custody of the Emperor, then Falco was surprised and turned to look at Mayu. No, I could never put you in such danger. You have always su surprised with your own emotions and stained your hands with blood of others. What I will go through will be nothing when compared to your, that hardship, but by your smile that Falco. If you will not allow me to do so, then I will simply take my own life right to it here. Falco stood there for some time before he finally turned his back on my own. Forgive me, Mayo. Yeah. Falco left Mayo, his prosthetic leg clacking against the floor with each step he took. Later on, Falco encountered Rin in the fallen city. She was the younger sister of the Crystal Empress whom he had. This chance encounter would change the lives of Falco and Mayo forever. So that's in the Falco's events. Defeat is not an option. So we've got another year. Nobody wants to team up with a mercenary that has a kid with him. I'd probably be better off killing him. Ian had suffered more wounds than he had fought, and he was beginning to show signs. Aska. Your mama always used to say that a mercenary would do anything to assure his own sense of survival. I see now what she meant. Asuka looked in straight in the eye. Up until now, I've always led a charmed life as a mercenary. 
It looks like I'm at a jealous virgin. What happens if you lose, Dad? Well, I made a lot of enemies, and I guess they'll kill me. Ask a held at Ian's hand. Mom is not with us anymore, is she? But at least I've got two. Papa. Y'all I've got so you just can't lose them. Ian began to feel alive again. From that moment on, he swore he would devote his life to protecting Asta. Or oh, his daughter. It was during the reign of the Crystal Emperor that Ian switched from being a mercenary to a bounty hunter. I, w I was sick of being a mercenary, although I suppose the job isn't much different. He went after bounties and collected his rewards from the Crystal Imperial Army. He did whatever was necessary to take care of Asuka. Lately, this so-called Okoto army is rebelling against the Crystal Imperial Army. It's got two leaders together, the bounty of them is worth a cool 10 grand. With that much money, I could provide an even life for Asuka. Ian pursued the Hokuto army relentlessly until one day, he finally came across their main unit. I can't let this chance pass me by. I can't renew my beloved face. So if you didn't understand that then basically he goes around doing bounties. So he kills people for money. A, a diff different bounty. Ian pursued and cornered the male leader of Hokuto army. At that moment someone appeared as if to protect him. It was an, the other leader of Hokuto army, this one a woman. So this is your woman? The male leader did not answer. Just then Asuka suddenly appeared. Asuka took a good look at the two people and spoke. Daddy, were you and mommy good friends like this? Huh? Ian was dumbfounded at her question. The masked woman laughed kindly. <laughs> Never mind, I guess I'll let you guys go. The leaders of Okuto army stood up on the ground near their feet, lay an earring. It must likely belong to the female leader. Asuka could not hide her excitement upon seeing it. It's so pretty. Ian picked up the evening and took a moment to compose his thoughts before speaking to the group. Hey, do you think I could have this? I'm not seeing your list, so it's a fair trade rat. The woman nodded. She then kneeled down in front of Asuka and put her hand inside her mask. These are earrings. Here, you can have the other one. Thank you. The woman patted Asuka on the head and left. Uh, that wasn't much of a bounty. Asuka was delighted with her present. Ian picked her up. But I guess something like this is a fine every once in a while, right? Right. The two of them laughed together. Proving is innocent. As his journeys continued, Ian came across a female face, Maya, whom he had first met in Judas City. Hey, long time no see. Is this your village? Yes. 
Mia was sitting in front of a grave. Ian noticed that. Her demeanor was greatly than before. Whose grave is that? Ray of Natal Shuriken. He is the man I loved. Mia told him the story of Ray. So Ray's dead now? So you're leaving, living your life with thoughts of Ray in your heart. Ian could not help feeling sad for her. But he took but he too had someone he truly loved. Ian stood there quietly and respectfully until there was a sudden commotion from outside the village. Lady Mary and Falco is leading the Crystal Imperial Army to attack this village. The Crystal Imperial Army? Why? We're giving up fighting. The villagers glared at Ian. You are a bounty hunter for the Crystal Imperial Army, aren't you? You brought them here, didn't you? Hey, I've got nothing to do with this. As they argued, the Crystal Imperial Army was fast approaching the village. Whatever, just watch. I'll drive them off and prove my innocence. Selfish. Somehow, Ian managed to repel Falco. Yeah, you didn't have to prove anything to me. I never doubted you. Here, that's not it. I just wanted to go out there and keep you safe. Uh, you're a lot like me. Ian looked up to the sky. They really are selfish, aren't they? Just getting up and going off to the Evans without even thinking about our feelings. You're a beautiful woman, but there's something sad about you as well. Ian, this is why I never kill a man who's got a woman of his own. You're as bright as and cheerful as always, though no doubt you have someone special. Hey, hey, can you tell? I've got the cutest girl ever. Ian raised his little finger and Maya, Maya smiled. I'll, I'll be sure to introduce you to her sometime. See you around. Take care. Maya would one day meet the girl he spoke of, but she would never meet Ian again. Ian perished in the battle between the Hokuto and Cressa Imperial Arms. He would be remembered not as a mercenary or a bounty hunter, but a hero instead. He blew himself up. The wolf's destiny. In a time before war revenge the land, Raiga, the successor, a beautiful guest, came to visit him. It was Yuria, his younger sister. Yuria, I'm going to see you looking one. You too, brother. Raiga gave his sister a warm hug, but he noticed that she had been crying. What's the matter, Yuri? I am setting out to the Hokuto Dojo. I may never see you again. Where you said this is what you're saying. It's not like you're going off anyone. Yuri, I let go of Raiga and began to shake her head. There is an air of uncertainty around me. No, not just me, but throughout this life world. Be careful, brother. I can feel that war is coming. Can't get comfort. Yuri, Suddenly something hit the castle with such force it shocked the foundations. Roger grabbed Yuri to keep her from falling. Brother! It must have been another artillery attack from the bandits, but the world is such a state, these attacks have become much more common. Yuria, there is no need to worry, I'll make quick work of them. The lone wolf's move. A 
Did that all right, right, girl? Return to you, Yuria. Everything's okay, Yuria. But I'm sure there'd be more where they came from. You should probably get going as soon as possible. Yuri nodded slightly. Just tell me one last thing. This man from Hokuto that you have fallen in love with, what's his name? Huh? Surprise, Yuri blushed. Raga laughed at her reaction to his question. Her astral, yeah, brother, I can tell about these types of things. His name is Kensho. Kensho, if you choose him, then I'm sure he's a good man. Don't worry about me, I just want the two of you to live in happiness. Yuri relocately turned around and walked away, glancing better back as she so. Raiga stood in silence, pondering his destiny. As the long crystal wolf, it's my destiny during times which chaos to serve as Kessa Emperor's message. Now we with you linked to Hokuto, I see it's destiny I can't escape. It must be a sign that the chaos is coming. Raiga shook his head rapidly as he if hit if she quite well. Got a bit tongue tied there. It's just uh, about another month. Oh. <laughs> Joseph was angered beyond belief after discovering that Yuria, the woman he loved, was actually his half sister. <laughs> Go to her. Who cares about this? All the five chariot guardians. Joseph lashed out at anyone and anything that came close to him. This affected the five chariot guardians as well. Calm down, Joseph. Have you forgotten the importance of your role? Shut up. I don't give a damn about the that crap right now. From now on, I'm not going to be tied down by anyone. I'm going to do what I want, when I want. The five chariot guardians are, eat shit and die. I'm done, do whatever the hell you want. Rika, the leader of the five chariot guardians, went to put a stop to Joseph's destructive behavior. Joseph, I cannot allow you to sully our name. Rika, I had hit up to you with you, out of nowhere. In that case, I suppose I have no choice. Raikun signalled with his eyes, and before Joseph knew it, he was surrounded by the other chariot guardians. Parting ways. I don't understand the chariots. Because Frodo is a Nato and a Guardian. After hearing news of the battle, Yuri came in. Joza, what's going on? It's none of your business. Joza did not look at Yuri as he spoke. I can never come back here. <coughs> huh? What's wrong all of a sudden? Unaware of the situation, Yuri tried to pursue Joseph. Please reconsider, Joseph. I want to remain here with you, Rico and Frodo. I get the hell out away from me. Yuri trembled with fear when she saw the expression on Joseph's face. Rico lectures, Frodo's dim witness, and your constant meddling. I had enough of it all, Joseph. From that day, Joseph began to wander the wasteland. Struggling with the pain of losing your brother, Joseph, from my life, Yuria ran to Kensho. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, or comment down below if you want to, so you don't have to. And the next one will be Rivals and Love, I guess. So, in a bit.